How's everybody doing today? Thank y'all for tuning into my channel. I wanted to go over a little bit here, uh, water softeners and how they work. So let's go over start to finish. So we follow this line here. That's going to be your incoming line. You come to the back of the head. Water is going to flow in. And then through this mixture head, it's going to flow down. There's a pipe on the inside of a water softener that sends water all the way down to the bottom. And then it's going to disperse out and the water is going to flow up through it, through the media that is inside. Once it flows through the media that is inside, it's going to come out and then send it to the house. So how does it work and, how, you know, why is your water hard? Why is it leaving white residue? Why is it feel kind of dry in the shower so the reason why that happens is the water is full of calcium and calcium is actually what you're feeling on your body it's what's building up in your toilet bowl it's what's building up in the bottom of your sinks that that white ring uh, it also happens inside of your dishwasher your stainless steel appliances you get the water spots when you wash your car you'll have water spots all over your car all those spots are calcium buildup and what this unit right here does, it actually strips out the calcium out of the water. Now, how it does that, inside of this tank is a resin, a resin bead media. So what it is, it's actually really, really fine pellets. Probably, uh, there's no way to describe how small they are. They're just that small. Um, they almost feel like gel when they're in your hands. Now, this whole tank up to about right here is going to be filled with that media. The way it works is the calcium in the water actually adheres to that that media that's inside of it. So if you if you're looking at this tank here, you notice it's 54 inches tall and it's 13 inches in diameter. If you're going to go to Lowe's and buy a filter like this, you're going to spend I don't know six to eight hundred dollars. Now if you're going to buy one of these from a, a professional installer, you're gonna spend anywhere from $1,800 to $2,400 to have it installed. Now, I would steer clear of anything that you can buy from Lowe's or Home Depot. The reason being, any of those systems, they're what we call uh, one third or one half of a cubic foot. Now, this entire system here is a one and a half cubic foot system. What that means is that's the amount of media, amount of material inside of this tank that the water is going to flow through. So why doesn't the one at Lowe's work as well? Well, it does and it doesn't. It, it, it's only going to do so good up to a certain point, and then the media inside of it is going to get saturated full of calcium, and then it's going to have to clean itself. So if you use a 100 gallon, let's just say hypothetically, use a 1,000 gallons of water in my filter, Okay, that's going to basically take away 10% of its filtering ability after you used 1,000 gallons of water. If you did the one that was at Lowe's and you run 1,000 gallons of water through it, you just burned up probably 70% of your filtering ability. So what that means is after that initial amount of water that went through there, it's only going to remove like 30% of the calcium that's out of the water, so you're still presented with 70%. Or it's going to have to clean itself every day or every other day. Now, this is set up to clean it once every six days. It's set on a digital timer, and you just pop the clock out, and you can use it You know, every six days. It'll clean itself. So I would say steer clear of the ones from Lowe's and, and go to an actual water filtration company and focus on your one and a half or your two cubic foot systems. Um, just professionally, uh, a professional opinion on it, th the smaller systems, they work for very small houses, for low water usage, for a single person household. Um, these systems here, if you notice I have two, this would be a water softener and that's an acid neutralizer. Now the acid neutralizer, that's for another video, uh, That that's strictly used to remove the acidity out of the water so it does not dissolve copper plumbing. So that's the reason why I have to install uh, the acid neutralizer along with the water softener. Now, if we talk about the resin beads, the media that is inside of it, that the calcium in the water, the hard water that it attaches to, now how does it clean itself? 
the way it cleans itself is with salt. Salt is what is used to release the calcium out off of the media inside to clean it. So when this system here calls to be cleaned, there's a tank on these systems, since they're so big, they're not all in one like the ones you find at Lowe's. If the ones at Lowe's, you remove the top or you lift up the gate and you look inside of it and you see one of these tanks inside of it, but they're only yay tall. So the length is where you get your filtration from, not the width. So you need the water to, to start at the bottom and work its way up through different layers of the media to where it will pull all the calcium out of it. Now, when you have salt inside of your tank here, typically it take, uh, in this system here, it takes four bags. So it'll hold 200 pounds of salt and that typically lasts me anywhere from four to five months and then I'll have to refill it. So how does that work? Well, when you put salt down in here, as you can see, this is water, but it's very salty water. So inside of here is a float, just kind of like a toilet. You can see that, that round thing there. So this is a float. See how that actuates? And then there's a bobber down there on the bottom. So when you fill this up with salt, there's water in the bottom of the tank. So the water that is in here is actually siphoned out of here through this hose here, comes around here, and it goes into the injector. So when this thing calls to be cleaned, I'll go ahead and show you that now. We'll go ahead and set it in to, for it to regenerate. We're gonna click this. And now the cam is moving. You can hear the valve. There's a valve assembly in here. You can hear it. So what it's doing now, it's flushing the water that is in the tank. It's flushing it out. So right now what we're doing, we're actually lifting the bed. So, so the resin bed is in there and water flows through it. And right now we're, it's kind of acting like lava. Water's flowing up and it's kind of shaking the bed up, mixing it up. Once it goes through its first rinse, then it's going to go through a brine cycle. The brine cycle is going to suck the water out of here, into here, add it to this. Now you've got salt water inside of your bed, inside the media bed, and it's going to sit in there for typically 20, 30, 40 minutes, however long it takes for the setting in here to tell it to sit there. While it is in this mode of cleaning, the water back here still works. It's just in bypass. So none of the water is gonna flow through the filter and give you any of that salty water. It's just gonna come in and go right back out. So the water right now is being pushed out and you can follow my line here and I actually have it running all the way out to the outside of the house. And I actually dump it into the storm drain here into my gutter now other people have actually plumbed it into their drainage pipe for their septic system i do not recommend that because what you're actually doing you're inducing salt salt water highly concentrated salt water into your septic system that is that is not good for your septic system because the way septics work they work off bacteria from your waste now when you put salt water into your septic system that that amount of it it's not going to promote bacteria growth so you're not you're not going to want to to inject it into your sewer system but i have seen people do that but uh, you know it, logically with as time goes on you, you give yourself you open yourself up to problems in your septic system more or less so try not to inject it into your septic system. Now, right now, since it's doing this backwash, I'm gonna let it go through its whole cycle. So it's pushing water out of the bed right now. Then it's gonna go ahead and suck the salt water out. That's gonna sit. And then after it sits, the calcium is released off of the media. Then it flushes the whole system again with fresh water. It runs it through another rinse and pushes the 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 high uh, what do you want to call it uh, 
it pushes out the water that's inside of the softener that's filled with the calcium, it pushes all that outside. So then it fills back up with fresh water and then it's ready to go again for another five, six, seven days, however long you have the cycle set. Now this, I just realized, this unit here is actually a metered unit. So it works off of gallons capacity. So we set it up for how many ever hundreds or thousands of gallons in between it's clean. So the way you can set that up, most of the ones you're gonna find online, the easier setups are gonna be a digital head. This is a digital head, that's a timer. So it works just like a clock. So you just pick the pins out of how many days you want it to clean and, and you just go by that. But um, this isn't really a video to, to get you to understand like how to install it. It's an understanding of how they work. So they work, they, they don't work by injecting salt water into your water to make it softer. That is not how they work at all. These systems work because of the media inside of the softener removes the calcium in the water as to what you're feeling in the shower or the water spots that you're dealing with that you're trying to scrub off. The salt is strictly used to clean the media bed inside of your water softener. If you have any trouble trying to clean those rings, uh, use a product called CLR. That's calcium, lime, and rust remover. This right here strips out your calcium. So what you're seeing in your in your sinks, in your dishwashers, and in your tubs, your drains, all that, that is all calcium. So you can use CLR and spray it on there, let it sit, and actually scrub it off with a Brillo pad. But I hope you found this video informative. Um, not too many people have water softeners, but those who do, um, they might understand the systems. Some of them just install them just because Lowe's sells them without any idea of how hard their water really is to begin with. If your water is say 20 grains hard, there's no way a Lowe's filter is gonna touch that. Now if it's five or six grains hard, you could put a Lowe's filter in, but it's gonna clean itself every day or every other day in order for it to do its job correctly. But I hope you found the video informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, share the video if you, if you found anything informational you wanna share it with anybody. And uh, please hit that subscribe button. Take care.